A language log is a wonderful tool that helps capture both the lesson's content and the language needed to understand it. It provides students with a way to record what they are learning for future reference. In this lesson, students are exploring the properties of clouds. They will look at pictures of various cloud formations and share what they already know, then preview new learning about clouds. A language log is an introductory activity that I use to really get the first formative assessment of my students. Friends, as scientists, we've been learning about different parts of the weather. Today, we're gonna to use a new lens and we're going to start learning about clouds. On the board, I already have a picture of some clouds for you. In a moment, I'm going to give you some time to silently think, how would you use science words to describe these pictures? The purpose of the lesson was definitely to get that introductory approximation of where the students are and like how comfortable they are with the subject. Super fast to their turn and talk partner. One. I think clouds are a really cool group because they could be in so many shapes and sizes and so many different colors, but like at the same time they're all different. Yes. The fog usually is dark and gray. And then after that, I really relied on the students building on each other and like showing those like habits of discussion on the carpet to help each other kind of take those those ideas that are tied to their background information because they've, they've seen clouds like this before. But you could tell that they understood what was going on in the picture and they were trying to bridge that to like whatever word made sense. And now I want to hear you share your ideas with each other. What type of words did we come up with to describe these clouds? Um, I think the one with the car. Yeah, I think a fog. I want to add on with the fog because the fog is bothering the people. How so? Because it's not letting the people know where they're going. Me and my partner came up with words like tunnel because um, the third one in the middle. The first thing I wanted was like that student language especially on paper, and that was the first thing we did, is we, we charted it, like whatever the idea was, it went on the paper. If I could see a connection between something we're doing, I'd use arrows and lines to kind of keep things a little bit more organized. And then that's when I stopped and I gave them the new words. I want to show you another collection of cloud words, and I want to see what sort of connections we can make between these science words and the descriptions you've already given me. I'm gonna read them to you, get ready. First word, hurricane. Seeing a solid connection, seeing another connection. Funnel cloud. And clear sky. Before you share these connections with me, I say it, you ain't get a chance to say it. Fog. Fog. Overcast. Overcast. Front. Front. Awesome, you guys are already making really solid connections. So the idea of the language log is it's broken into three columns where the students are organizing their understanding of the words based off how familiar they're with the word. My first column is the, the no column, and that just means they know the word, they're comfortable with it, they can define it. The column on the left is where you put words that are like your best friend. You know them well, you can describe them, you're very familiar with this word. The middle column is my heard of word. So they've heard of it, but they don't have that familiarity. If you've heard the word, but don't quite know what it means, you're gonna put it in the middle column, which is the heard column. And then the third column is the don't know, and that's just haven't heard of it, just unfamiliar. If this word is a complete stranger to you, good, that means you are gonna have even more to learn. So if you don't know the word, I want it to go all the way in the right. We're gonna start off doing this at a level zero. Then we're gonna to get to share with our friends and see if we can help each other move more words to the left. And you are going to get as many of these words into whichever column describes you as you can. Seeing them try to form that connection, like, well, this is what we said, like, which one does that link up with? And they're able to go back to their seats and start independently diving into those new and foreign words before we could come back whole group and start putting the puzzle together. Introduce the language log at the beginning of the unit so students can fully explore the new science topic and keep track of related vocabulary. Go back to the log regularly throughout a unit so students can update their thinking and learning. 
Additional pages can also be added throughout a unit of study to deepen a student's understanding. The Language Log is a great tool for students to monitor their own progress and learn organization. After they finished the language log and they got a minute to kind of share their mapping with a partner at the table, we came back to the carpet and for the first time we kind of like linked up like what, what which one describes this picture best. The idea was I'm choosing this word because this and that was where the real foundation started because their ideas were like this word is unfamiliar to me but this one piece of connecting information whether it be from the student language chart or from their turn and talk or wherever they had heard that in the lesson so far able to bridge them to that second tier language or that the language that the global community of scientists would respect do you think you could point out which one is the serious cloud go for it you want to put that right on top of our picture to show that we... One of the fun parts about teaching English language learners is in science, they have a really good understanding already of the ideas you're showing them. It's just the language isn't there yet. In science, they have that background information and they're eager and like ready to share it. So the idea that I can like start giving them that outlet and that scaffolding to get to like their language is really motivating for them because they feel that, that success and that, that understanding right out of the get-go. So, you may take these papers home with you, and you may... One of my favorite parts about teaching science and teaching so many kids in science is the pride in this new language that they have, and it's sticking in their brain. They're going home, and they're sitting at the dinner table, they're sitting out on the school bus, and it's like becoming part of their life in the moment. As soon as you set those expectations higher, and you, you light that motivation in the kid, you'll, you're gonna be extremely surprised at how quick they grow and how consistently they keep meet, meeting those expectations. One of the fun parts about science is we are practicing new skills every day. We are learning new content every day. That's what makes it fun and exciting for the kids. And honestly, the only bar on their growth is the expectations you set on them.